Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have 5 to the power of x equals 60. And um, one thing you should know is we cannot express 60 in this form. Okay, so let's see if 5 here is a factor of 60. So we have 5 to the power of x equals 60 here is 5 multiplied by 12. Okay? And then do not divide both sides by 5 yet because if you do that, you will be wrong. So we can take the log of both sides. Log 5 to the power of x equal to log 5 multiply by 12. If you like, you have this in bracket. Now, what do we do from here? Log a, b, right? This this is log, log a times b. This is the same thing as log a plus log b. So I'm going to apply the same thing to what we have here. So we have log we have log 5 to the power of x being equal to log 5 plus log 12. So what are we saying? We are saying that log 5 plus log 12 is the same thing as log 60. Okay. Now from here, if you also have log a to the power of b, it is the same thing as b log a. Saying that the power will always come behind to multiply the log. So here now x is going to come behind and we have x log 5. And this will be equal to log 5 plus log 12. Okay, someone will be tempted to say this plus this should give us log 17, but that is not correct. Now, we are trying to make x a subject, so we have to divide all through by log 5. Divide this by log 5, and divide this by log of 5. Now, this can go into that, and this goes there as well, so we have x to be equal to log 5 divided by log 5 is 1. Then we have plus log 12 over log 5. Okay, and from here, we can decide to change, apply change of base to this. Okay, and if you're trying to change the base, let's say we have something like this, log a, over log b. By looking at this, you discover that they have the same base. As a matter of fact, if no base is indicated, it means that there are or it is in base 10. So this is log a to base 10, log b to base 10. So if you want to change the base, this will be equal to log a to base b. This here becomes the base to the A. And that's the same thing we're going to apply to this. So we have X to be equal to 1 plus log 12 to base 5. Okay? So this becomes the value of X. But if you want, you can equally press your calculator to get your answer to log 12 to base 5. Okay, and if your calculator is not giving you any number, um, if, your calculator, if your calculator does not give you um, base 5, you can press log 12 divided by log 5. Now, let's put this back into the original equation. And it is 5 to the power of x 
equals okay 5 to the power of x equals um 60 right okay so in place of x i'm going to write the whole of this so i will have um 5 to the power of 1 plus log 12 to base 5 now, now will this give us 60 that's what we want to find out okay so from here we're going to go straight to indices look at this if you have a to the power of um, m plus n now according to one of the laws of indices this is the same thing to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so that if you pick one of the bases you will add the powers and that will give you this so we're going to express this in this form so that means we'll have 5 to the power of 1 then multiply by 5 again to the power of this which is log 12 log 12 to base 5 okay so we want to see whether this is going to give us 60 right so from here this is 5 then multiply by from here I want to explain another um, law very quickly okay so now if you have this let's say you have from um, m to the power of log a to base m okay now this base here and this can cancel each other so you'll be left with a so we're going to apply the same thing here so that this and this can cancel so we just have to multiply by 2 of okay so from here 5 times 12 is giving us 60 I remember that it was the same 60 we had on the right hand side of the equation the equation still remains 5 to the power of x equals 60 so we are saying that our x to be equal to 1 plus log 12 to base 5 satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching and do well to subscribe to my channel if you're new here.